being a Newcastle United fan is hard. We've been in so many cup finals over the years and every single time we just lose. It's a curse and it continues again. Hashtag United has beaten Newcastle United two goes to one at Luton Town Stadium. A team that was actually formed by Spencer on a YouTube channel. Three years ago, the women's team have started to become a thing, a hashtag, and I've got to give them credit. In three years, they've done a lot of work in non-league football and also women's football, and today they got the reward. Didn't think Newcastle was great, hashtag took advantage of it. They took the chances when they came to them, and they walk away, they're deserving winners. Over 3,000 Newcastle United fans actually travelled five hours down in coaches like these to come and watch the girls play. I'm going to show you some exclusive pitch side content with my media pass that I contacted the FA in advance to get and just to show you everything surrounding the game, how big an occasion it was. Now in the grand scheme of things, the FA Women's National League trophy. There's a cup final, yes, but it's not the FA Cup, it's not the Champions League. If you would say at the women's team, what would you want to do at the start of the season? Every single time they'll say get promoted, which we are going to do. So today was a bonus. Well, that's it. It's just a bonus. But yeah, we're going to get into it now. We're going to show you the dates. So we're going to show you all the content. Enjoy it. Just know that even though it's a disappointing day for us, the women's team are still going to get promoted and that is the key thing that we need to do this season. Well, I think Newcastle's going to win the final. Why? Every day, every day. That team isn't even official. That team is not even official. Listen, we'll get the job done. Promotion, every cup time. final win today. Listen, you enjoy every yourself. Time. So, hi, I'm Joe. Uh, I used to, uh, you know, be involved with Newcastle United women, uh, social media, you know, uh, their, their stuff on the Newcastle website. I'm still involved now doing the, the men's program. Uh, it's just amazing, really, to, to see how how far the team's come. And, you know, it's, we're just getting started, really. You know, end of the season could be even bigger as well. But to be at a cup final, you know, it's such a prestigious ground against, you know, another up-and-coming team in, in hashtag. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing, to be honest. It just shows how far things are coming. I mean, just a couple yeah. of years ago now, you'd have been like said, you were park, just, just sitting there and reporting on Newcastle at a time where... Yeah. I mean, you look at today's, it was well over 3,000 Newcastle fans all the way down here in Luton. It's, it's so far, it's our biggest ever away attendance in terms of actually getting people to come down well, it's, here. It's, it's massive, it's isn't mind it? mind-blowing. Like, you see the videos this morning of people getting on coaches, which, you know, for, for men's matches, people might look at that and go, well, people get that. But for women's football, particularly the level we're at, is, is massive. You know, there's championship teams, WSL teams who don't even get, get that. And, you know, it's women's football weekend. And I'd, like you just said there, like, remembering when they were at Druid Park and you'd have, like, 50 fans and maybe the yeah. dog and you know people would be having like pints in and around the, the ground and it's on these harsh sort of astroturf surfaces and and it's really cramped whereas now we're playing in big stadiums like you know the Kenilworth Road for, for where we're at is, is massive and uh, obviously you know Kingston Park St James as you said and just the following like if, if they get the biggest away following that they've ever had today then it's just testament to the fans obviously who were there at least Sports Village as well uh, when they played Manchester United which was you know it's, Got to give me goosebumps just seeing the fans there, and I think today it'll be similar. And finally, Joseph, score prediction. What do you think? I think it'll be somewhat close, just the same way that the Portsmouth one went. But I, I do think that 
they might edge it. I, I can't see them just the way they're playing necessarily conceding too many goals. So I'm going to go 2 0 Newcastle. 2 0. Yes, I'm Johnny from Newcastle Fans TV. Um, score prediction today, I'm going to go for 4 1 Newcastle. I think uh, on paper, I know Cup Finals on the side on paper, but on paper, Newcastle should win. Um, they've got a stronger team and obviously the game against Portsmouth, Portsmouth are higher in, in hashtag in their, in their respective di the division. So I think Newcastle should, as long as they do what they're meant to do, should win. Now, I have a chance actually to talk about it afterwards, but I agree with Johnny. I think Newcastle actually will heavily dominate the game, but we we'll see if we're correct in saying that now. I thought it would be a good opportunity to actually talk about the fact that I'm going to be seeing you again next Friday. Loaded mags are taking on Newcastle fans TV. In a charity game, so I was hoping Johnny have a chance to tell the audience a little bit more about it. Yeah, so yeah, it's really, really good. Adam, that uh, next Friday, Loaded Mag, which obviously a fantastic YouTube channel, uh, will be taking on Newcastle Fans TV, um, doing it for the Alan Shearer Foundation, which you know, we we'll do it for another uh, for so many different charities, but this one, of, of course, is an easy one in the sense that Alan Shearer is such a legend, and obviously they need money every single year, single year to keep the foundation going, keep the centre going. So two YouTube channels trying to raise a little bit of money to help uh, the foundation. Um, bragging rights at stake, as you well know, and um, it's a it's a East Palmersville or some people call it Forest Hall uh, Sports Centre. Three o'clock kick off on Good Friday. More than welcome to come along. Um, I know you've got the link for for the for the for the charity as well. So if you can, can donate, big or small, greatly appreciate it. But a donation link will be down in the description, guys. We will talk a bit more about it on the day itself next week. There will be a vlog, of course, from the game on my channel. Appreciate it, Johnny. Enjoy the game. Cheers. Uh, George Culkin, I'm a writer for The Athletic. Jacob Whitehead also writes for the athletic. Final, when you cast an A ticket and hashtag an A, just how big of an occasion is this for the girls? Um, I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I woke up this morning just feeling really, really up for it and excited. Um, season to get the women's uh, team as well as, uh, as well as writing about them. Uh, just a brilliant story, brilliant story. And uh, I can't wait. I mean, can't we blase about the idea of Newcastle winning silverware? Ah, no, tell me about it. it. So, yeah, just just really, really excited. Well, I was well, just being at King's Cross earlier and seeing the black and white shirts, just yeah. moving around King's Cross for, for a women's final. And so, obviously, given the history of the team, how it's not necessarily been this side before, the progress since we take over it, it's kind of a way to actually cement it today. Yeah. And finally, score prediction, what do you think? I mean, I have to be honest, I don't know a lot about Hashtag United. I know they're doing okay in their league, but, um, you know, Becky Langley and the team, they're, they're, they've been so good this season. I'm just going to say 2 0. And, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. I'll take anything, any, any win. 3 1 Newcastle. <laughs> What do you think the score is going to be well for you? 3 0 in Newcastle, are you excited for the game? Now, guys, we'll see a bit more Wolfie tomorrow. We've got a charity match involved at the foundation building, so we'll make sure we'll, we'll do a video tomorrow at the event. But I just want to say, Wolfie, well done, all the money that you raised, and I hope you enjoy the final today.
time for the FA Women's National League Cup Final. Let's hear you make some noise for Hashtag United and Newcastle United! You're gonna be joking. Look at the hailstone. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan. Honestly, the guys, I was in Newcastle yesterday. The weather was perfect. You come down all the way down to Luton and just look at this. Look at this hailstone. They might have to postpone for a bit if it was gonna be this bad. It's, oh my god. It's horrible, with us. Come on, Newcastle. Let's try and take advantage of it. All the fans are heading up. Can't exactly blame them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, the defenders had a nightmare there. She's went to kick the ball away. It's bounced off her knee and got, went in the own goal. Well, a hailstone somewhat out, out there, but I think it was a major defensive mishap by Hashtag. The castle done well to power some pressure on Leah Cataldo. Well, what a crazy 60 seconds that was in the match. You can actually still see all the hailstorm in my hair. You can't see in the space of 60 seconds managed to capitalise on that hailstorm there. Horrible mistake in hashtag United. Open the game, I think, once you score one. Kind of fix where you're going to score more. Well, I've started to walk up, guys, just to get into a different seat. Hashtag of equaliser. I, I didn't even see the goal. I've been walking up because of the horrible rain down there. Uh, managed to pick us apart straight away after... In their point of view, conceding quite a bad goal. Interesting game though, Newcastle conceded their first opposition chance of the game. So far in the FA Women's National League Cup Final, hashtag United won, Newcastle United won. Now in our point of view, frustrating. We've conceded straight away after scoring and to be honest, I think for our standards, watching us play, we're not creating an awful lot. I think Newcastle looked quite dangerous out wide. It's Charlotte Potts, Casey Elson, Katie Barker and Leah Cataldo, those four causing some real damage towards Hashtag. But through the central areas, we haven't created much at all. And Hashtag's been a team that's kept themselves in it. They've done well enough to get a goal straight away after conceding, especially the way they conceded as well. They picked their heads up from that and actually score an equaliser. You've got to give them a lot of credit. But for us, I think we should be doing more. The second half needs to be much better. We've got well over 3,000 Newcastle fans down here. They made over five hours in the coach to get here. And I don't think we've been at our best. So we've got to make sure our second half, let's get up and we've got a team for full-time players. We should be fitter than them. I think as the game progresses, we should control it a bit more. First half, not awful, but not good either.
Full time this afternoon, hashtag United 2, Newcastle now 1. We have just lost in the FA Women's National League final. It's actually the second cup final I've seen with the, the women's first team. We've lost to Wolves End and we've lost to hashtag United. We, we, we just don't ever win cup finals. That's, now, it's it's a tough one to take, but uh, with all due respect, we've got to show respect and humility hashtag. I, I thought Newcastle deserved to at least go the extra time, but in our regular performances that was part of it just nowhere near good enough you got to give them respect they scored the goals we didn't and that's the reality of the game we just didn't ever get that ball into the back of the net it was just so frustrating our only goal of the game was was an own goal by them we just couldn't score all afternoon and it was disappointing because there's thousands of fans that had travelled five hours in the course to come down here we lost to a team that with all due respect on paper we, we should have be beaten so uh, in our point of view it was poor but we've got to show a lot of respect to hashtag they've turned up here they've had a game plan and they've listen they've, they've walked away uh the when i saw it's one of those ones but i think when i look at it now with all due respect to the fa women's national league to be honest it's not the fa cup it's not the champions league it's it's not a major cup competition if you tell me at the start of the season what would the cast night women's team want to do they'll say we want to win the title and get promoted that's the only thing they'll say this it was a bonus that's it we've lost the game but what happens if we won we would have just got a trophy that's it it's it's not the fa cup it's not the champions league again it's a it's a trophy that hasn't got any real significance in the castle next season it won't affect us next season it's just a case that we could have had some extra at the end it would have been nice to win a trophy for all those fans but the reality is it doesn't change anything the castle was still going to win the league and the castle deserve to be where they are now and it is what it is, listen to you. You win some, you lose some. Now, I fought a character from the team to see them all upset and so distraught at the end of the game. Just shows how much it meant to them. And I think they'll build quite a lot of character from them because I think next time we get to a stage potentially like this, they'll not want to lose it in a million years. But I'm bitterly disappointed. I can't lie. I'm a bit disappointed. I'm a bit gutted about it. But 
it is what it is. I can only sit here and tell you so many things, but it's been a great experience to come down here. I've got a, a lot of credit to the FA, by the way. Um, I contacted them in advance for this game. They were great with the pitch side access. They supported us in any way, content creators, anyone that had any media access for this. Uh, they've done a superb job, and I've got to give them a lot of credit. They've had a, a busy, well organised day, and I, I thought they did a good job. But that's it. Going home now, five hour trip back. Bitterly disappointed, but listen, it doesn't change anything. Castle have got Liverpool feds at Kingston Park next Sunday. You win that game, you're going to win the league. So that's what we came here to do. We came here to get promoted. Today was a bonus. Hasn't happened. Fair play to hashtag. I thought they deserved it. For us, it was poor, but it is what it is. So take care, guys, and we'll see you all in the next one.